Hi YouTube, today I'm gonna bring you three high dividend stocks that wouldn't bat an eye if a recession struck. So let's get into it. High dividend stocks are gonna have to prove their worth when the next recession strikes. The first stock I'm gonna bring you is AT&T. And let me tell you why. With AT&T, it's only one thing we've learned as investors is that subscription-based services are extremely hard for consumers to give up. While the cord cutting associated with cable might be one of the few exceptions to the rule, telecom and content got giant, AT&T, tickle symbol T, has little to worry about when the next recession hits. A significant portion of AT&T profitability is driven by its high margin wireless division. The wireless saturation rates are high in the US. AT&T and its peers are beginning the rollout of 5G networks. This represents the first major upgrade to wireless infrastructure in nearly a decade and is likely to lead to one of the strongest tech upgrade cycles we've ever seen. With the ability to download movies in a matter of seconds, 5G could usher in a new wave of data-driven profits for AT&T. Even though it's early, AT&T has a 5G presence in more cities than all of its other major competitors combined. Despite the cord cutting associated with traditional cable, AT&T intends to combat this weakness with its streaming services. This is a good time to mention that the acquisition of Time Warner adds the CNN, TNT, and TBS lineup to its portfolio, giving the company more sway to lure streaming consumers as well as extra pricing power when negotiating with advertisers. Ultimately, AT&T is a boring company and that's great news for in investors during a recession. The company's below average volatility and, rel and relatively predictable cash flow is a 5.5% yield. That's stuff that dreams are made of. The next company I'm gonna bring you is an actual weed company, but they, they rent out real estate to farmers and different equipments. Tickle symbol IIPR, innovative industrial properties, was the first pure play marijuana stock to find its way to a major US exchange and is today the only pot that pays a dividend with a yield of 4.4%. It also happens to be a high yield stock. Although that shouldn't be too surprising given that REITs pay out most of their profits in the form of dividends to avoid normal corporate income tax rates. Although the US pot industry has, has had its fair share of growing pains, innovative industrial properties have found itself particularly immune to these concerns. The reason there's little concerns and to boot why there would be no worries in a if a recession struck is that IIPR business model is based on collecting predictable rental income over long periods of time. In other words, predictability, profitability is practically guaranteed smooth selling. At beginning the year with 11 properties, IIPR now owns 35 grow farms and processing sites in 13 states. These rental assets have a weighted average remaining lease term of 15.6 years and the current yield is on $371.6 million and invested in capital of 13.8%. This means innovative industrial properties will recoup its investments in just over five years but has another decade beyond that where their steady cash flow will be coming in. Not to mention IPR also passes along 3.25% rental increase per year to its tenant, ensuring that it stays ahead of the curve. No short-term recession is going to alter these rock-solid returns. A third high-yield stock that could care less if the U.S. dip in a recession is tobacco giant Philip Morris, ticker symbol PM, at the yield of 5.8%. Philip Morris offers the highest income-based return of these three high-yield dividend stocks. Though, tobacco usage has fallen among adults in a number of developing markets, including the United States, 
this isn't a huge concern for Philip Morris. That's because it doesn't sell tobacco cigarettes in the US, but it does sell them in more than 180 other countries around the world. Weakness in developed markets can be met with middle class looking for affordable luxury, such as tobacco, in emerging market economies. Thus, geographic breadth is one saving grace for Philip Morris. Secondly, this is a company that benefits from selling a vice product. Tobacco contains nicotine, a highly addictive chemical that keeps consumers coming back for more by effectively building up its brand, especially in premium Marlboro brands in overseas markets. Philip Morris has been able to grow its sales through the price hikes, even as cigarette shipping values have fallen. Philip Morris also has its eyes on tobacco alternatives. The company IQOS Heated Tobacco Devices has seen its total users count grow from an estimated 7.6 million in the first quarter of 2018 to 12.4 million in the third quarter of 2019. This user growth is a big reason behind the 45.7% year-over-year increase in heated tobacco unit shipping volumes through the first nine months of 2019. Between its strong pricing power and growing revenue streams, beyond traditional tobacco cigarettes, Philip Morris would have little to worry about if the US recession struck. So there we go, guys. Those are three high dividend yield stocks that wouldn't bat an eye if the recession struck. One of us is a weed company, the other one is a cigarette company, and the other one is AT&T. I do own AT&T in my stock. I think I'm gonna buy more of that. I'm, I'm loving the, the, the yield, the dividend yield from AT&T. Um, the cigarette one sounds like a solid plan. It do have the highest yield of these three, but I am not too much of a supporter of cigarettes and tobacco. Weed, I need to get in weed for money purpose. I see the market booming. It's still illegal in a lot of states. So once I see weed really legalizing, I'm going to try to hop in early on some weed stocks. But right now, I think I'm going to grab some more AT&T, add that to my portfolio, and collect those dividends yields. If you guys like any of those three, comment down in the comment section which one are you thinking about picking up if the recession struck today. But other than that, hit the thumbs up button, like, and subscribe. But this is Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.